am Cyan207, and I'm really mystifying. The thing about my life that shifted the most was the fact that I wasn't that well known, even though I was part of a club that somebody, and I mean somebody, that was that was nearly popular and it was and was growing fans invited me into the club. Even though I joined late. As if I wasn't that well known in in the whole of America. But the most part that affected me more than anything was that even after one to two years, I got literally like 19 people who actually knew me that well. But then poof, my club was gone and my and my near life was gone. Yeah, apparently YouTube nearly blocked my channel from existing. Then I nearly made a second one, but that didn't work. I wasn't that well known for that long. My creation, my project, was that unexpected. I joined in 2007 on YouTube, but after that, I only got 19 people to see me. The same thing happened to me, you know? I had 19 people when I was well known after two years. So I guess we're on the same crossroad. What? I wish you could have been there earlier. I just wish I could have done more. I just feel like I'm being pushed aside on media. Like, for example, I joined the EDP club, like, a, f a few days later when it started. Me and Tigger Lover 95 aka Eric Carmen 111's boyfriend, actually came in late. And I wonder why. Even though I shouldn't wonder because there is an explanation. I didn't get that much of popularity until I requested that, that I I could join. Um, Kenny McCormick 1999 said sure and then the fun began. But even with that said I was still well known. Even when I was featured in several videos from both Kenny McCormick 1999 and Eric Carmen 111. If you're a person that wasn't that well known for a few years... What would you expect of your life becoming? Um, I honestly do not know. Well, I shouldn't go through all that. I mean, hey, I, I got tons of friends that actually invited me. Even though I have two, even though I originally had 200 friends on YouTube, I still didn't make the cut for getting subscribers. I mean, did, did you try to hoard all that attention? Well, no. I mean, I was just a regular dwarf with a camera, but then, after not getting a ton of subscribers in over one to two years, then I felt like enough was enough. I decided to post more content than I should, just like you. Even though you weren't basically my inspiration. I tried growing harder and harder, but in the end, in late 2010 and early 2011, I was gone for. My entire project, like I said, was already done for. I felt like my time on YouTube was an absolute depression that nobody can eat, can, can name it. I joined 2007, I was just a regular dork, then somebody invited me into their club, then I decided to not get well known, and then bang, here I am.